My name is uh, Michael McGann. I'm farming in partnership with my parents uh, in Killashee, County Longford. Uh, the title of my uh, presentation today was uh, Growth and Utilisation of High Levels of Grass in the BMW Region. Our farm is a 36 and a half hectare uh, milking platform. We carry in 160 cows, so we're stocked at 4.4 cows per hectare. And really it's all about um, measurement and what I can gain from grass, how I measure it, um, the utilisation of, of my grass and uh, the types of grass, the species, the varieties I use and, um, and, and what I can deliver in milk solids uh, from the current um, grazing, uh, grazing platform, milking platform. I have an out farm two miles away where uh, rear my replacement units. Um, I probably have more replacement units than, than I need for um, a, roughly a 22% replacement rate. So I sell surplus heifers, uh, calved heifers in spring, and I rent additional land for silage and I uh, grow maize on, on lease ground as well. I buffer feed that maize in the spring uh, as the cows go to grass because uh, stocked at the level I'm at, uh, concentrate alone would, to use concentrates alone would be too expensive so I've opened my maize pit uh, as the cows go to grass in early February, uh, aiming to get one third of the farm grazed by the 1st of March, two thirds grazed by St. Patrick's Day and begin my second rotation around the 5th to the 5th to the 8th of April. But in order to have that uh, enough grass supply in the spring for those freshly calved cows, I'll, uh, my real uh, grazing year actually starts in the autumn, when uh, from roughly the 10th of October, I aim to graze a proportion, a sm uh, proportion of my farm daily to reach a total of 60% grazed by the 1st of November. This in turn means that I have 60% of my grass will actually grow the, for the spring coming, will have grown the previous uh, autumn and um, so I'll have a, a bank of grass ready to go. I'll house the cows by night from the 1st of November um, and, and really I can stretch out the rest of the season whether it's for the whole month of November or just for half of it. That's, that do, essentially it doesn't matter because I already have my um, my bank of grass for the spring spring ahead. The measurement I do is uh, I walk the farm every Monday. I will um, do about 40 walks a year. I will put, input the figures into Pasture Base Ireland um, and from there I can determine whether I have a surplus or a deficit um, for the coming week. Um, any surpluses, um, if I have too, too high of a cover per cow or an average farm cover, I'll take out paddocks for, uh, for bale silage or if it coincides with, um, with uh, silage time, I, I, can, I can put it in straight into the pit. Um, this also gives me the opportunity to cut down on concentrate use. And so far to, to the end of October, I've used uh, 700 kilos of concentrates per cow for the year. But um, I can justify this by the... For, because of the high stocking rate. During the season itself, uh, pasture base gives you certain um, ways in which to calculate how, how much grass, the, the wedge is the main driver of decisions for the, for the season. That'll, that brings you up to about the middle of uh, August when, when I start to extend my rotation in order to build up the covers for, for that uh, autumn period. I mean, grassland production on the farm is very high. We're in a free-draining mineral soil, um, high organic matter. We've had a high stocking rate for the last 30 years. We're growing 17.5 tonne, but we have a, a quite a strong reseeding policy, which we reseed around the first cut silage, using, making best use of the long days in which we get the, the greatest number of growing. Um, and that in turn leads to uh, quality tetraploid swords which we're able to graze out easily rather than a dense sword making the cow work harder. The milk solids per cow uh, average around 430 for last year. Uh, I'll aim to this year to project it for 450 with uh, milk solids for the grazing platform around 2000. Grass itself dry, drives, drives the milk output from the, from the cow's quality persistency, the palatability of grass. Um, as long as you utilise it correctly, uh, make sure that you're grazing it at the third leaf stage, which is around 1500 of a pre-grazing yield. You'll always have quality. There won't be any dead material there, so the cows can, can efficiently graze it out. Um, it, it drives quality milk out of the cows, and uh, quality milk means uh, more profit per, per cow. Um, 
satilely, this, this gives me a high profit per hectare.